Hi everybody, it's Jason coming back to you from the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Today we're here in our indoor giraffe facility and as many of you might have seen last week, Bob and Dr. John gave you an update on one of our giraffes, Mahali, who's over my left shoulder. Today I'm joined by Dr. Lisa, who many of you know. We want to continue to give you updates on what we're um, proceeding with as far as some treatments that are coming up for him later this month. So like Dr. John and Bob explained, Mahali's our 16-year-old giraffe. This guy right here is eating lots of crackers. He's enjoying this, um, especially right now, to get all these wonderful treats. But Mahali, again, is about 16 years old, and he's developed some arthritis and a couple of fractures in a, in a couple of his feet. And so we've been doing lots of voluntary care for him over the last several months, but we're kind of at the point now where we need to do a little bit more to give him a little bit of comfort. He's shown us that he is a little bit uncomfortable and painful in those feet, and so we're talking about doing a procedure that does come with some risks, anesthetizing him to immobilize him to be able to take care of his feet. Like, many, like a few of our giraffe in the herd though, they do participate in hoof care, and one example of that would be Mashama. So he's had similar treatments that we're planning on doing with Mahali. So Mashama does voluntarily allow us to do routine hoof care, as well as in the past we've been able to put on some shoes for him and actually do a pretty cool treatment of stem cells through an IV jugular treatment and that has seemed to be able to seem to have helped him out quite a bit. And so because Mahali has regressed just a little bit in his training, we do want to provide him the best care possible. And so we're talking about doing that procedure with him later this month. We're lucky enough to have Dr. Lisa, who's been making great strides in hoof care and just draft care in general and human care. And so she will talk a little bit more about what that's going to look like for Mahali moving forward. Thanks, Jason. So as you can imagine, when you're doing anesthesia on a patient that weighs a ton, literally, and can be 17 feet tall, um, there's a lot to um, figure out and there's a lot of logistics to manage. So um, what we do is we take as many steps as we can in advance to make sure that the procedure is as safe as possible for our patients, um, but also that where we can avoid it, we, we do. So as you guys have heard in the past, we've trained our entire giraffe herd to voluntarily participate in hoof trims, just like a horse would have. And that's something that has been a standard of care at our zoo for all of our animals. But Mahali is really fairly unique. Um, he actually um, started to develop foot problems before we had started our foot care program. That was really kind edge at the time. So about seven years ago, we already knew we had some major problems with Mahali's feet. He already had some pretty advanced arthritis. And so seven years ago, we actually started his training and we found that simply with hoof trims alone, we were able to do enough for him that we could take him off a lot of his pain medications and really improve his quality of life. Um, several years back though, he started to regress quite a bit. And so that was the first time we actually did an immobilization on Mahali. Um, he did very well subsequently and we were able to buy him some really, really great quality time. So what we're hoping to do now is to really capitalize on the things that we're continuing to learn with the giraffe community, with all sorts of specialists to really bring the best care possible to Mahali and his friends. As you can imagine, there's a lot of preparation that goes into um, anesthetizing, again, a one-ton animal. And so what we have planned is um, we're preparing a large stall for him, as we've done with our past giraffe immobilizations. And what we're doing is we're going to be putting mattresses on the sides, we're going to be adding sand to the flooring, and we're going to be making sure that we can get him positioned appropriately when he's lying down, such that he can be safely worked on and we can get all the things done for him in as short a time as possible. Um, with this, we're also lining up all sorts of specialty teams, including anesthesiologists and uh, hoof care specialists. Um, so that we can really bring our best game to bear. Um, as you can imagine, once you have a, a giraffe laying down, um, there's a lot that you can um, imagine would be a little bit complicated for a one-ton animal that is 17 feet tall. So for Mahali, one of the big things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be laying him on his side and then ensuring that his head is above the level of his heart. So what we'll have to do is have a very long plank of wood that's padded and maintain that head above the level. Um, and that's partly because we want to prevent things like aspiration pneumonia, but also because of the unique anatomy of giraffe, they actually are designed to have a blood pressure that's about twice that of a normal human. And so you can imagine if his head was all the way down on the ground the whole time, um, that would be a huge amount of extra blood pressure going to his brains. And so we don't want to have any complications from that. And so um, that's just one of those logistics that we do to ensure that the anesthesia is as safe as possible for him. Um, really, uh, preparation is key. Um, and so as we said, we're mobilizing all sorts of 
specialists and planning out in advance what it's going to look like, what the anesthesia team is going to be responsible, what the hoof trim uh, team will be responsible, what the other um, people that are going to be in the in the stall are going to be doing at, at all times. Um, but it's really an exceptional opportunity for us not to only bring great care to Mahali, but really to advance our understanding of um, how to do best medicine for giraffe in our herd and giraffe around the world. So um, in his procedure, not only will we be doing hoof trims and probably shoes, but again, we'll be doing uh, stem cell treatment, which as we said before, um, is something he's received in the past and was associated with him doing better and is novel technology that really hasn't been available just until a few years back. Um, in general, um, we're taking a lot of precautions, but um, clearly there are always risks. And so you know, we're preparing for as many scenarios as we can and really bringing together a really great team. Um, key to that is really Jason and his animal care team. They do a lot of preparation in advance with training the animals and making sure that they're um, calm and ready for the procedure. And um, they're gonna be able to help us with all the logistics of moving the animal around and ensuring everything is going well. Finally, I just want to add that our team is lucky that we've been able to do these kinds of procedures multiple times before. Um, and additionally, because of the work that we've been doing with draft conservation in the field, um, many of us have a lot of additional experience um, from the field that can help us um, when we're actually uh, working on Mahali or other giraffe here at our zoo. So with that, I'll turn it back to Jason. <laughs> Mahali's back in the shot, guys. He didn't want to miss the he didn't want to miss the wrap up. Thanks for coming back, Mahali. So. Like Dr. Liza said, he, Mahali has been a little bit hesitant as we've seen him get a little more painful with his um, voluntary hoof training program. And so what that looks like is that he just might not be able to keep his feet up as long or allow us or the farrier to do a little more work to be able to get his feet kind of back in line and potentially put on shoes or some of the other treatments Dr. Liza was talking about. So just like humans, sometimes if an animal doesn't want to do something, they don't do it. So that's where we've decided to, it's in his best interest and in his welfare to be able to do this immobilization for him and kind of give him the best possible outcome and opportunity to, to get some healing and recovery from those, uh, from those painful challenges that he has. We'll, we are excited to be continuing to give you these weekly updates. So look for us to come back on Wednesdays as we're moving through this process with Mahali and updates after for him. So we do want to thank you guys for supporting Mahali and his upcoming procedure and our team here that we're putting together to be able to do this great work for him. And uh, keep us in mind for next week when we come back with an update. And thank you for everything. We'll be back soon. <laughs>